Wow, do you realize that we just released our 50th OCB Reactions movie uh, video this morning? Really? I knew, I knew we were getting, I know we hit 100 total videos. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's, it only took us two years, but um, well, you, you know what though, what's funny is we've done the last uh, 50 in, what, less than four months? Less than three months. Amazing. But yeah, I mean, uh, I've been enjoying doing this. Same here. I mean, it's been a blessing, actually, in all the new stuff I heard. Yeah. You know what? I think maybe for this episode, we should do a retrospective. I like that idea. I think you're right. Hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm John. And together we're OCB. And this isn't a reaction video, this is uh, a retrospective after going back on to the last 50 OCB uh, reaction videos, Metal Around the World, and um, the things that came before it. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's been a journey. It's, yeah, and it's been a lot of fun. I yes. Mean, and with uh, starting OCB, I mean, I've got to discover quite a bit of music. Same here. That I just never would have heard of. I mean, a lot of the modern, like the pop and stuff, that we just, I've tuned out of that a long time ago. Yes. Um, I mean, when we started, I mean, we started as a band. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if they scroll down through, all the way, way down there, They'll start seeing things from Anburu, uh, which was, you know, the the band that we we had going that uh, we started the spew with. Yeah, I mean, and the spew was just us, you know, joking around and being sarcastic. And it's like I put on the mask, and it's like all of a sudden I, I mean, I was Igor Ragnabel, and I could just say whatever popped into my stupid head, and we were playing characters that were belligerent misanthropic morons yes. from a fictional country. It's, uh, and Caliban Tibia was just a, you know, it was a total sex fiend. Yeah, it's like, um, <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was all in good fun. Yes. From our, well, from where we were coming from. It, you um, know, we, we it, for, for the, for the spew, it was, it was about pointing out some of the stupid social and political things going on on a humorous point, through a humorous view. But apparently, you know, people don't have sense of the humor anymore. So we kind of like, we weren't getting anywhere with it, anywhere with it. And then the band kind of had, like you said, it's not dead. No, uh, uh, but it, it's kind of on a, on a back burner, uh, simply because of the fact that life got in the way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I miss this mask. Yeah. I mean, I miss being this belligerent butthead. Um, I mean, we even wrote. I even wrote a book about it. I mean, John came to me with the idea of the band, and I just ran with it. Um, yeah, I don't talk about this because I don't really cross promote. But I'm a writer. Um, I have several novels up on Amazon and stuff, including the story of Amburu, which I had a lot of fun writing, and I thought it was actually kind of funny. Oh, it was hilarious! By the way, he's a great writer. Um, one of the few people when I pick up his book, I don't put it down until I'm done reading. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, like I said, we'll leave a link in case you're interested. Um, I, like I said, I did hum I usually do absurdity and humor and stuff. But, uh, yeah, uh, definitely absurdist. Uh, there's so <laughs> much that happens, it's just not possible, but you wish it were. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so basically that petered out. Um, the guy, if you go back and look at the videos, the guy that was in the surgical mask, he was a, ba was a bass player. And, and Drew Pete. Uh, and he was the funniest of us. Yeah. He, yeah. he, 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 he carried the uh, he carried the funny torch. Yes. He, he was, I mean, I, I miss, well, I still see him here and there. I mean, yeah. he's still my friend, but um, he got busy and like uh, got a job. He has a family, um, which I'm, I'm grateful for. I'm glad for. Yeah. Um, uh, but, but then, let, let's face it, one of the biggest obstacles is drummers. 
Yeah, they always, the people always want to hang out with musicians, but they never stick around long enough. They always find new musicians to hang out with. If you're a drummer, don't get ticked off. We're joking. Yeah, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, uh, on Boo started about ten years ago. Something I uh, I had a, a plan for to uh, basically make fun of a certain genre. It was that. Uh, side of death metal where it's or black metal on the bunch of saw black metal yeah where, where literally they're using a drum machine blasting beats as fast as it possibly can and the you're using like one guitar ran through six distortion pedals so that it just sounds like a lawnmower that you're <laughs> throttling up and down uh, yeah, it was meant to make fun of that, and then with our first recordings, we kind of discovered that we had too much musical integrity. Yeah, well, kind of. I mean, the first song, and you just told our very first song, it's called My Dark Lord. It's about us worshiping Pikachu, of all things, you know, yeah. which that's explained in the book. Uh, which just, there's a lot of jokes that probably, that might have been part of the problem, was we, we referenced the book for our characters. Yes, yeah, so um, but we people, didn't explain it. A lot of people <laughs> wouldn't have got the humor without reading the book. Yeah. Uh, but there, there was also uh, another member. Uh, uh, I think I went through. Out, well, there was Alec, Alex, Alex Tripp, Tripp and, who, by the way, it was actually my son, uh, Tristan. So, uh, yeah, you're getting mentioned on here. Too bad, if even if you didn't want to be. <laughs> uh, then we had... Uh, uh, Magra Kula. Ma yeah, Magra Kula, uh, who was uh, Dylan Friend. And no, that's not a made-up name. That's his last name. Uh, he's not just a friend. Uh, but it... it uh, Great, now I have Biz Marquis stuck in my head. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it, things got in the way, and we wanted to keep going. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun doing this view. It just was so sporadic. We couldn't grow the channel. Like like I said, it's like people apparently lost their sense of humor. Um, so no, all these crybabies anymore, that, you know, you, you, you tell a joke and, they, oh, that hurt my feelings. Yeah, screw your feelings. Yeah, and then John came to me with this idea. Because um, I would make these silly little videos and post them every once in a while when I got bored um, with this idea of doing reaction videos. And it's like, you know what? I we both love music yes um in all its forms and i'm even in the stuff i don't like sometimes i can appreciate it sometimes i don't Sometimes I'm like all oh, that's garbage but uh there's so much out there that we haven't heard and then you had the idea of like we'll have people tell us what they want us to react to yeah and and, and uh, it gave us a step sideways from a lot of the other reaction uh reaction shows it's okay uh, what gave me the biggest uh, uh, influence towards doing this were the, the guys from Lost in Vegas. Yeah. Um, Good show. It, it, just amazing. But uh, their niche is, you know, they're hip-hop guys that do a lot of reaction to heavy metal. Um, and then I started seeing that a lot of the reaction videos are like heavy metal fanboys re reacting to heavy metal. Well, that's not fair. No, it's, it's like... It's, and I've never seen, they never seem to be critical. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, it's fine if you love everything metal, which I like a lot of things. I'm a metalhead too. We're both yes. metalhead. But, uh, don't like everything. <laughs> but, so that's why we decided, rather than trying to, you know, create this very specific niche for, it was like, let's react to everything. Literally everything. I mean, we've hit hip hop. I mean, metal. Polka. Polk, yeah, Motown, uh, um, rap, pop, yeah, whatever. It's a. Uh, we even did a cover of Orinoco Flow by Celtic Woman. I mean, we actually started with country, but we lost that video. Yes. Um, and so we reacted to Baby Rex. I just never saw it, uh, which we didn't like it. Just in case you wondered. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, and it, it, it just kind of grew from there, and then it, then you had the idea of starting metal around the world. Yeah. Um, just because, like, I've always done that. I've always been curious. I mean, if you pull back the screen, there's like seven or eight boxes full of CDs. Right. And they're all weird as far as, like, they're not mainstream. They're all metal bands for the most part um, from all over the world. And just like the... 
like why don't we highlight some of the newer bands that are out there that way i got a chance to go in and just we can discover new stuff exactly and 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 the fact that simply some of it they some of them don't even have like cds that are available like in the united states or uh, some of them don't even have cds available yeah so it, it was one of those you know it's a uh ongoing uh, uh journey of discovery i mean yeah i mean I didn't even know the Yolanda Islands existed until this show. Exactly. And they had one of the most <laughs> kick-ass bands I've heard in forever. Or uh, like Red Room Ensemble. It's like, yeah. Oh, freaking awesome band. Uh, well, that, that was just like, uh, what, what, what's that? Andorra. Yeah. It's like, I always thought Andorra was like the mom from Bewitched or something. Uh, <laughs> that it, she it. Oh, Andorra. Okay. Uh, right, and I'm like, I got to Bombay. Probably. And, and, and no, Andorra is not where the Ewoks live. Um, uh, that airs tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, I, I'm one of the things we wanted to do today. We lost, like, well, we didn't have any suggestions, which we have plenty now. We got, yes. like, uh, Christian Hunter, thank you so much for all this strange, wonderful prog metal and apparently other things, which we recently discovered. And, uh, and also shout out to M. Allen Johnson. Yeah, you've been uh, you've been keeping us afloat with uh, your suggestions. Grizzly Frizzer Chips, Eric S. Um, Black Black Wind with the Verder Ball, which I love. Yeah, you were like you were like me. Yeah. But uh, and, and also Sly is dead. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. If you I missed mean, your name, sorry. I mean, but when we appreciate the hell out of everybody that just like the one person that was giving us crap because we were being shitty about Saya. Um, which is all jokes. I mean, yeah. we were, I don't know that woman. I don't want to, I don't care. I mean, I don't yeah, think she's just, a or anything. But just because we didn't like the song doesn't mean we don't actually like her. And We uh, don't know her. It's yeah. like she might be the coolest person ever. You know, I don't know. Well, uh, let, let, let's be realistic. Well, once again, this, this drops down into the nobody has a sense of humor anymore. Oh, when, when, you know, when you reached up and stopped the phone, stopped the, uh, they hit the pause button. You're like, shut it, bitch. You, you know, everybody's all like, oh. It's like, he, he's not saying that to her. He's just, Honestly, I was talking to my phone because yeah. that wouldn't work. But, um, you, you know, it's uh, one of those, you, you don't, we don't know her. You don't know her either. But, so. Well, yeah, well, let's not get into that. Yeah. I mean, it's, just, uh, I mean you, have, you have a right to your opinion. and we, yeah. We're more happy for you to express it there. That's why we don't put filters on the chat or on the yeah, on the comment. Just, just, just don't make too many assumptions either. Yeah. Um. Um. Anyway. Uh. Well, before we go on, you know what we haven't done yet? We haven't actually explained OCB. Okay. I mean, we've mentioned what it means. It means old, crippled, broke. Um. As far as old, like middle age. Yeah, I, we're good, close to middle age. Well, I'm middle we're, age. we're on our we're on our way. I mean, I'm mostly. I'm, I'm, I'm fully admit that it's like I have the average life expectancy for a male, uh, 87 now. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's going up. If, if it has, it's like well, I'm still mostly dead. I'm, well, I'm 47. Um, so yeah, I I don't know what the hell the kids are listening to. That's why yeah. I was, one of the reasons we did this show. Um, but yeah, it's like so we, we just joke. You know, yeah, yeah. Like, well, we're old. We don't know what's going on. Uh, that's. That ain't exactly untrue. The, 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 but the truth is, we're really not that old. Yeah. Um, so, so, so you know, the, the whole thing about us pappies. <laughs> I actually got a kick out of that. I thought. Well, that was I funny. laughed too. Uh, I, 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 I thought it was funny. Uh, I think she said pap, so I'm like, I'm not a pap smear. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I might have been at one time, but. <laughs> oh, anyways. Um, so yeah, that old. Yeah, let's just say we're not young. Yeah, which is actually back to the book. Yeah, that's just the whole thing about being not young. But anyway, then the C crippled. Um, I don't bring this up. Uh, neither does John um, because we're not looking for pity or anything. But all right, uh, I have mobile sclerosis. I am messed up. Uh, you can't see it here because I'm not trying to run around and fall into my face. Um, which usually gives me a lot of laughs. Which honestly, it's probably pretty funny. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I struggle with that daily. Uh, I guess the only thing I really have to say about that is like, hey, I'm still doing my show, Montel Williams. <laughs> uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, 
And I think I got Marvelous Grosses because Richard Pryor was my favorite um, comedian growing up, and I caught it from him. So if your favorite comedian has an illness, find a different one. No I'm kidding. I just <laughs> like don't like Robert Williams and Ben Bradley. No, and I'm joking. I mean, it's like, and, and once again, it's, it's part of dealing with is yeah, the humor. It's, it's humor. It's making fun of ourselves. Uh, I mean, it's saying cripple. I mean, you, you know, like I say, I, I laugh at you when I fall down. No, I don't. But no, okay. you don't. But it, it's, I, I, I think I have funny. once or twice. But yeah, but I remember that time, and I would have busted up laughing. How could you not? I mean, it was just like. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, it's just, well, yeah, and then, and then on my side of the table, it's uh, I'm a disabled veteran. Uh, spent four years in the Marine Corps, uh, and I had injured my back while I was in. Uh, the injury has now developed into uh, degenerative, advanced degenerative osteoarthritis. Uh, I basically get to where I have days I can't even get out of bed. Or uh, if I do, like even to go to the bathroom, it takes me five minutes to take the six steps to get there. Yeah. Um, I mean, we say crippled, uh, but you know, it's not like either one of us is wheelchair bound. Not yeah. yet, but uh, it's it, it's one of those we 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 say it is our own coping mechanism. Mm, it, it, it's humor. Yeah. Um, if you are wheelchair bound, we're not making fun of you. As a matter of fact, no, we, it's it's one of those. I, I wish I could help you. Yeah, um, same here. I'm not and, in a position to help you anymore. But it's like yeah, it's. Uh, and, and telling you about this, we're not asking for your pity. Here, as a matter of fact, here's the reality. You try to give me your pity, I'll probably punch you in the face. That's, uh, pity serves no purpose. Yeah. Um, if you want to subscribe, that's fine. Yeah. That, that, uh, that's if you want to share the video, it's like, hey, subscribe. These guys are crippled. But anyway, the last one follows the cripples. It's broke. Basically, we're subsisting at this moment on like disabilities. Yes. Um, uh, so it gives a limited income. So yeah, we're pretty much always broke which is why we don't upgrade that often on the show like when we can scratch the shekels together you know we, we, we put them in the show but um yeah because ultimately what we want to shoot for is improved video improved audio uh better lighting and as far as where we want to go with the show we have lots of ideas i mean we want we'd like to build a community where we're interacting more with you um like have listening part like live listening parties where we interact with you about songs that we like and stuff where um, we can skype with the band some of the bands yeah uh maybe even and in the long run, like we ended up with like five thousand subscribers or something we're gonna look into bringing some of the metal around the world bands here for a big concert yeah I mean, or, but, heck we get enough and even be a festival yeah it's like bands like la 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 hell and Red Room Ensemble and right. The, I mean, I probably won't contact the Albanian bands. Well, maybe the second one because they don't they speak Albanian and I don't understand language at all. <laughs> um, no offense to you guys whatsoever. I thought you were awesome, but eh, I, communication's gonna be hard. Um, yeah, yeah. Th there's only so many languages that can a person can learn. I know three, four, kind of. I can read four. Uh, I can speak to three, uh, kind of. I, I'm fluent in two, English and bad English. I can kind of, I'm fluent in English. I can kind of get, I'm like a four-year-old with Spanish and like a two-year-old with Tagalog. Um, and I can read some Swedish. I don't know how to pronounce any of it, but I, I know what the word means. I, I did, I, I, I was trying to uh, learn the mother tongue. I was trying to learn Gaelic. Um, no, well, that's why Scott's learned Gaelic. <laughs> no, it, uh, I'm sorry, and if, you know, anybody watching, if, if you, you know, you're some of my Scottish brethren and you speak Gaelic, that is the dumbest language on the face of the planet. Um, I mean, my, the my, the my, only way I can learn, I, I'd ever be able to learn it is immersion. Yeah, I mean, my mother tongue would be Romanian, um, which is like, why the hell would I want to go to Romania anyway? It's, well, it's improving, but it's got a long way to go. Uh, it's like... Actually, but the women are actually are really pretty. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're kind of rambling through this one. Yeah, it's kind so, of fun. Anyway, so uh, 
that's kind of where we come from, where what we're looking ahead to, some of the things we're looking ahead to. Um, so, so I just want to ask you, it's like, out of all the songs we did, which one stuck with you the most? Which one stuck with me? Oh, what was the name of the group? It, it was the one with the, uh, they were very minimalist, but beautiful. Uh, John Benai. John Benai. Because that's my answer to <laughs> Yeah. Um, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was haunting. And um, I've actually gone back and listened to the same song same here. a few times simply because I, it, yeah. it, it, it stuck with me that much. Um, which, uh, is there any of them we listened to that you originally didn't like that you now kind of like or can tolerate? Oh, that that's. That's kind of a difficult one. Um, usually, if I don't like something, I, I simply don't like it. Well, you got to watch um, it when you're rendering and stuff. But yeah, um, I, I I'd say uh, honestly, okay, um, which I it hasn't aired yet. I don't believe it has. No, uh, the uh, second song that had uh, cyan in it. Oh. Uh, the group was uh, zero, zero seven. seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I do think that after listening to it a couple times, I I have more appreciation for it. Uh, I still not a great fan, but yeah, it's there, there's it's a, more appreciation. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, it would have been Lozy Vert, which I, I actually kind of detested when I first listened to it. Like, but listening to it again like watching the video or it's, it's like eh, oh this is how you get into this and it's like like i said never gonna be a huge fan but it's like ah this isn't so bad i kind of like it um well you know what we also had some really surprises that, that like um two of them right up front was kelly clarkson and uh uh our first one taylor, taylor swift. swift um we went in expecting to just Hate tear it apart and hate it and it was like um i'm kind of embarrassed to say it i kind of dig this one yeah it's, it's, it's <laughs> the worst thing i've ever heard but uh i think uh i'll go to the reverse is any that you like that you just kind of like mm, fell out of nothing that we've done necessarily uh i'm trying to remember which band was it it was one of our early ones i i it was before we were getting a bunch of suggestions, so I said, I've heard one song from these guys. Kane Hill. Kane Hill. Because I'm exactly the same spot. I actually kind of hate them now. Yeah, uh, the first <laughs> time I heard one, a couple of their songs, it was like, eh, I can kind of dig this. I, I kind of like it. And then it's like, the more I hear, yeah, I'd like to kind of meet them and punch them in the face. I, I just, I yeah, can't it, stand them anymore. It's kind of like nails on a chalkboard to me now. Yeah. Uh, then uh, I think out of all the ones that we did, I mean, Periphery, which apparently, I mean, yeah, I, I'm listening to them now. I mean, I, I, they're I, the I, one that I said, like, oh, this would be part of my radio playlist. That actually is part of my radio playlist. I, I, I uh, think half of our subscribers are Periphery fans. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I'm right there with you now. Yes. And it's, uh, but, okay, if you had a suggestion and it never showed up, um, that's probably because we did it and we lost. The, the, either the sound went bad or the video went bad and that's happened to us like four times now yeah like the first episode and the we lost the death grips which i kind of liked and you kind of like me uh yeah. if i remember right um and we lost in my own mark's song which we both really liked yeah um that uh and uh this band that we're going to go ahead and play for you now because they got a new thing out and i think they're really like uh not only is the song awesome they're pretty awesome. Yes. Uh, it, there, there, of course, will be a link to this video on here. Watch it. Watch it all the way through the end. They do something just completely amazing. Or if, if you don't like the song, they just think, skip the end. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is Bloody Wood. Um, I'm going to say this wrong. It is Givari. Uh, it's the name of the song. It was going to... But it, it, it's like a hand up people that are suffering from depression and stuff. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's one of the things I love about them is their use of traditional instruments. 
with their metal. Of course, they. I think they're taking. Sometimes they're taking folk songs and meddling them up. Yeah. They're like the Indian version of Leo. Yes. Where well, they do a lot of covers, like pop covers and stuff, and always make them better. So they're way heavier than Leo. And I love their work because it's both in death metal and it's clean and it's like. And that's not him, that's their guest rapper. Yeah, uh, that's appeared I know at least in two videos. Raul Kerr. Which they have subtitles in their video. Because yeah. I guess it's important that everybody knows what they're talking about on this one. Yes. I guess it's like 28 official languages in India. Wow, I and mean, they're a very diverse country. It doesn't matter that they look alike. I mean, they don't all look alike, but they very a lot of tribes and stuff. They got kind of like they're sitting there and all of a sudden, like, "Hey, you're an Indian now." Like, what? What the hell? <laughs> Apparently, like if, if every state had been its own country, and it's something like you're the United States of America, like, what the hell? <laughs> I thought it was an Ohio but... Hey, but we're the only ones that don't have an accent. That's our accent, is it? We don't have one. That's not true. We have a Western <laughs> accent. I don't know how the hell we have the same accent as people in Portland, but that's our accent. Western okay. American accent. Otherwise, the British people couldn't make fun of us for talking like that. <laughs> At least we know the difference between a Coke and a Mountain Dew. Yeah, Coke goes up your nose, Mountain Dew goes down your throat. <laughs> oh, you took that there. Beautiful to put together song. Yeah, it, it, it's metal, but it's. I mean, some of those, most of the stuff is heavier, but yeah. Say it's like it sounds like you're saying Ortega and I want tacos. Pizza, tacos. I know he's not. But I still want tacos. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. GB Ray is a song about fighting depression and mental illness. And yeah, I mean you you'll, yeah. you'll see that on here. Yeah, uh, p please actually go watch it. Uh, it's, it's worth it. It's worth the message, uh, it, both through the song and at the end. Um, the, uh, ben introduced me to Bloody Wood, and I, yeah, it, they, I listened to everything I could find on them. Yeah, uh, it's just they're amazing, and they're amazing people too. Yeah, and it's like, but since they're more of a cover band, 
when we get to India and around the world. Probably wouldn't have done bloody wood, but I yeah. do want to highlight them somewhere. Um, but that, I guess that's pretty much the history and the retrospective and all that for this. Um, if you watched it all the way through, thank you so much. Yeah, um, and like, subscribe, hit the notification and, and share. Uh, because really that, that that's what we wanted to do is get the word out and get more people watching uh, not just to not just for eyes on us okay that's a lie but uh, not just for eyes on us but for the bands that we put out there um, both in on reactions and metal around the world I mean a lot of a lot of them on with reactions are uh, more popular yeah you know? It's it's not like we're really going to help their popularity any, you know. Yeah, it's like how much bigger is Taylor Swift going to get? You know, yeah, like, I don't think that how much bigger is little Nicki Minaj going to get? You know, it's yeah, like, uh, I don't, I don't think we're going to make these people any bigger than they already are, or smaller. Yeah, it's like, but hey, anyway, that's uh, this little retrospective. Hope you have fun. Um, hope we entertain you. Um, if you turned it off because we weren't doing music, well, I don't blame you. I'm sorry, but anyway, uh, fairly well. Thank you.